Good morning, everybody. Happy Monday to you. Uh, welcome to June. Uh, I can't believe it's uh, June already. Um, amazing. Uh, real quick on last week's stats uh, for our area here. Um, total active, 83.78. Uh, slight decrease, um, which means our close, the ones that closed uh, actually increased a little bit to 792, uh, which is great to see. Um, newly active, uh, 1325, that's down slightly from last week. And those that went under contract, uh, 1609. Um, so as you can see, it's still, uh, things are still moving, um, which is great uh, for our area. Um, today, just wanted to touch back in on mortgages, more focused on the first time home buyers. Um, it can be, you know, obviously a new transaction, uh, something new for you and can be a little nerve wracking uh, once I get into all the numbers. So, you know, try to find yourself a you know, good agent, um, such as myself. You know, we can handhold you through that information. Um, some of the first things you're going to look at is your income and your current debts, um, credit cards, um, student loans, anything that you're paying monthly on. Um, with, uh, you know, getting qualified for a new mortgage, so they do a pre-approval. They'll do a, what they call a debt to income ratio. So they'll take your current income, your current debts, and then see how much is left to go towards a mortgage. And they'll have different qualifications depending on the product, um, anywhere from 40% uh, debt to income, which means your debts uh, can't be more than 40% of your income. Um, and now with that, they'll look at your credit score. Um, some banks and mortgage lenders will go down. I know this down to about the 560 range. Uh, the lower the credit, a um, little more the rate will be, or points. Um, something else to clarify are those points. So depending on the product, as we've talked about a few weeks back, um, that you'll look at, um, the rate could be a little lower, but they may have you pay some points. And a point is just a percentage on the loan amount that you're gonna be lent. So let's say you have a $250,000 loan and they want to charge you one point to uh, be $2,500. That could be, you know, paid at close or it would be paid at close, either added to the loan amount you have to pay back or, you know, additional money you have to bring to uh, the close, again, depending on the product. Um, but don't let that uh, type of information, you know, keep you from moving forward. Um, getting a loan right now, the rates are extremely low, um, which is, you know, awesome. Um, you can afford more house than you can when the rates start going back up. Um, again, not knowing when that'll be, but I looked around um, some of the lenders I work with. Um, they're in the low threes for a 30 year. Um, again, if your credit's a little lower, um, that might be a little higher. If you can get into a shorter term mortgage, 15 year, you know, can get under a 3%. Um, and then in the adjustable rate arena, the rates are lower. Um, but again, you know, we'll work, work through that to make sure you understand uh, the impact of those um, adjustable rates because they will change uh, payment over time, uh, again, depending on the product. Um, so it is a lot of information, a lot of new, you know, stuff for you if you're a first-time home buyer. Um, also, um, from a down payment perspective, so I think traditionally people think they need to have a lot of money, 10 20% down payment. Um, that uh, for first time home buyers, there's a lot of assistance programs that can help um, with that. So you may not need that much money um, as a down payment. So again, um, reach out to me, we can walk through that. Um, also lastly, started this on a YouTube channel. So please uh, click sub subscribe and like or dislike, um, provide some comments. Um, if there's any other topics you'd like me to discuss, um, you know, I'll take those and uh, we'll go from there. So have a great week and uh, we'll talk to you later. Thanks. Bye.